Hey, new in town. Gold burning a hole in your pocket? In the market for a valuable artifact? Yeah, of course you are. And lucky you ran into me, because I got the very thing. Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker, just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. So you don't work alone? Alf, Dider, and little old me. Triplets. Triplets? Thanks for the warning. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about them. I'll self looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good place for treasure seekers. So, you and your brothers are traveling separately? Easier to find work that way. Although I've not seen Dider for days. I heard rumors Ulf was being held prisoner in the merchant's district. No idea if that's true. He don't seem too bothered. Well, if it is true, he can handle himself. Toughest of the three of us he is. I'll see if I can help Ulf. He can handle himself. But if you're going that direction, then I suppose it couldn't hurt. What sort of artifact are you selling? Some kind of large golden bowl. You need something golden bowl shaped? This'll be perfect. And it's yours for just 150 gold. A customer? Welcome. What can I get you? I have a healing potion for you from Master Belshaw. Thank you. A drink? Of course. I couldn't sleep anyway. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? Who could teach me to pick locks? Master Belshaw told me to bring you this potion. Thank you. Finally a chance for Martha. But healing potions alone won't be enough. I have to get my wife off the street. It's killing her. She needs somewhere to stay. Shelter. Can I help you? Are you a healer? My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever. And she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. I'll find a bed. Some shelter for your wife. If you could do that, it'd be wonderful. Please, do your best. Please.
The farmer Arno needs a clean bed for his sick wife Martha. They both live on the street. I know. They're in a very bad situation. We really need a place to care for the worst cases. If only I knew where I could house Arno's wife. Could you search for somewhere? Perhaps Costa would help us house them. I can ask. I've given healing potions to everyone on your list. Thank you. Thank you. May the Holy Flame protect you. Perhaps you are suited to be a novice. In any case, you have my blessing. I will tell Carlos about your good work. He'll summon you when he has time. Carry out the tasks he charges you with, convince him of your commitment, and he will take you to the monastery so you may study magic. He'll also provide you with a pass. Without his word, if you venture outside of the town walls, you'll be arrested by the warriors of the Order. I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Not for the moment. Perhaps later. All right. You there. Get yourself up to the guardhouse. The Commandant wants to talk to you. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Lost in the Library. A survivor's tale for bibliophiles. Come to see me, have you? I need a map of the island. Why? Surely you've heard it's illegal to leave the town. I have. Well, I'll draw you a map if you want. You could use it for decoration. How much do you want for the map? It'll be a fair price. I'll let you know when it's completed. How long will that be? A good map can't be hurried. Especially these days when the terrain itself keeps changing. But for anyone who knows how to get out of the town, my map would be very useful. Oh. Is someone there? What do you want? Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, they did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. It's evil, stirring people's brains round like that. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the earth. They caught him outside looting. Took him off and changed him. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbour for the order now. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the order. You're on my side, so do me a favour. Find out what he's planning and tell me. There's a hungry look, but if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job, but when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Oh no. That's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. 
Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it, though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but he's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realised he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses, in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Where can I find Flavio the fur dealer? Up in the gutters. His house is right next to the Shrine of the Holy Flame. Baxter the bookkeeper. Next to the butcher's shop. He runs the books for the business. Nelson, the cartographer. His place is on the way to the gutters. Just go up the stairs from the harbour. About Sid's spy. Have you talked to everyone who had their houses burgled? Not yet. Well, I think that's your place to start looking for Sid's scout. That was blatant. Miserable thief. Let's uh. see some blood. Who could teach me to pick locks? Lost in the library. A survivor's tale for bibliophiles. Hey, oh. I hope... Is what someone are you? there? You're... Take Rob. And now, they got... They see? What would... He was a... They could... Took him up. Puff. Do you need it's right? He's
Hey, I hope you're not. What is the order lock? Take Rod. And now they got they see. What was he was they took him off. Do you need this rod? He's Lost in the library. A survivor's tale for bibliophiles. It'll be a fair. I let. How long? A good, but for. <sighs> Is someone there? You there? Get your. There's. What if you? If you. What's? I guard the. No, that's people. Have the two. And what? No, I. Why? He can't. But what? Where? How do you? I. Then I. Now. What are you? If I. But I doubt anyone would. So. What? A, I can. Okay. Good. Sit. Even. You think. He may. If you. I'm a. Our. Who's. Nell. You. The. Where? Up. Back. Next to the. He. Good luck. Now, he's just... Don't you have some place to be? You look weather-beaten. Did you make it here across the seas? I was shipwrecked. I washed up here. What about you? I'm a sailor. Was. With the storms, there's nothing to do in the harbour. And I give up my job with Patty. So, you work for Patty? I used to. Serving beer. But people are running out of money to spend on beer. So, I was no longer needed. Luckily, she hasn't asked me to clean out my berth yet. If you're looking for work, you won't find a lot. What happens in the harbour? Not much since the ship stopped coming in. Carrasco is in charge of things. He manages the warehouse for the order and he pays terribly. Stick to Luca. He's got something cooking. And if you do well, there'll be an extra coin or two. But don't let him swindle you. Luca is a complete skin flint. What? Hey. Are you in the market for valuable artifacts? Who are you? You interested or not? You're one of the triplets, right? You know my brothers? I've met one of them. Where did you get this artifact? It sort of fell into my possession. Heard it might come from the temple ruins. And it looks valuable. What is this artifact? A golden bowl. It's sort of gold, and bowl-shaped. I want 150 gold coins for it. 150? Right. Your brother Ulf is being held prisoner by the Order. Ulf will escape. From what I've heard, there's not many escape the Order. Now there's a face that needs a drink. Better get this beer down you quick. See if you can bring a smile to it. Thanks. Oh, that's good stuff. Aren't you kind of young to be running a tavern? I wouldn't be behind this damn bar if the white robes hadn't sealed the town. Still, being here is better than being out in the gutter. Or being forced into selling my wares at Sonya's. If I could, I'd have been out of this rat hole long ago. 
How do you plan on getting out of the town? No damn idea. No damn idea. Yet. I did hear there's a secret way out of the town. The Don uses it to get around the Inquisition. No idea if it's true. There's so much bloody talk in this place. It might be gossip, but what do they say about the secret way out of town? Artifacts keep going missing, so someone's smuggling them out. The Inquisition won't let ships leave the harbour, and they guard both gates. So the smugglers must have found a third way those damn white robes don't know about. Sounds like you could be right. Why do you want to get out so badly? I'm looking for something. Something valuable to me. What? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Yeah, and so can I. Do you know any of these artifact smugglers? I bet this tavern that the Don's men are behind it. They usually are, but maybe that's just talk too. Can I have another beer? Ah, see? I knew you were a man in need of liquid solace. And the beer here is better than most of the hog's piss on the island. This one's on the house, but from now on, you pay for it. You've got me curious. What is it you're looking for? Right, Terrier, aren't you? Well, don't get too excited. It's nothing you can sell. I need to find my father. Really? He went missing in the storms. His name's Gregorius. He's a sailor. I heard he was here. That's why I came. But I got stranded by the storms. Then the owner of this place was killed. Got sent into the ruins by the Inquisition. So I took this place over. Haven't found a trace of my father, though. He must be somewhere outside the town. I'll help you to find your father, Gregorius. And why would you want to do that? Sorry. Not used to getting offers of help. If you find anything out, I'd be grateful. I don't know if you know Captain Romanov. I heard he came here, and that he's still on the island somewhere. Romanov is also a man of the sea. He and my father have crossed paths a few times. If anyone knows something about my father, it's going to be him. I'll help you get out of town. Better men than you have told me the same thing, but their price for help wasn't one I was going to pay. Maybe you're different from the others. Maybe you're the same. But if you hear something, if you know something, I'll treat you fair. But there are things I won't do. How can it go on like this? How are we going to eat? All the farmers are in the town. Patty is looking for her father. Ha! <laughs> Show me someone who isn't looking for Captain Gregorius Steelbeard. I'll tell you what I tell anyone. He was here a long time ago, but where he is now, I don't know. So Gregorius Steelbeard is a captain? Most famous one I know of. I'm surprised you hadn't heard of him. But I wouldn't ask too many questions if I was you. You're not me. I don't know what Patty told you, but she's the daughter to one of the most infamous pirates in these waters. And there's plenty who'd cut your throat if they thought you knew anything about him and his whereabouts. What else do you know about Steelbeard? Only rumors. Ericsson says Steelbeard has a shack in the town, but I don't believe it. If Ericsson really knew where Steelbeard's shack was, he'd have plundered it and be leagues from here by now. Instead, I only ever see him hanging around Sonya's brothel. Why do you think Ericsson's interested in Steelbeard's shack? Ha! <laughs> the house of a famous pirate captain who terrorized the seas and amassed inconceivable riches. Show me someone who wouldn't love to poke around in that house.
Things will never change. In the middle of the night. Who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? To this warehouse. Everything all right, big guy? Everything is all right. I'm looking for training. Ukos can train you. Train you in strength. Train you with an axe. I must ask for a little gold against my honor. But Ukos needs gold for the butcher shop. Who could teach me to pick locks? It worked. It... Hey. Wait. Not here. Huh? We talk here, Carrasco will listen. He doesn't have to know everything. Let's go somewhere else. I'd stop right there if I were you. You ain't going any further. What's the problem? The Order runs this warehouse now. So what? So they don't want anyone wandering in uninvited. Wandering uninvited types tend to wander out again with stuff that ain't theirs. What sort of trouble? Artifact smuggling. It's bad enough these artifacts have been stolen in the ruins. You'd think they'd be safe in town in a warehouse, but there are thieves everywhere, trying to undermine the order. Can I help? Well, the latest things to go missing were three golden bowls. The Inquisitor was not impressed. I could do with getting those back. And I need to get hold of some armor plates that walked out of the warehouse a few days ago. What do you know about the theft? My guess is the day laborers nicked them. All five plates. But you'd be hard pushed to find a brain amongst them. <laughs> no. Luca's bound to be behind it. Talk to him. Find out what he knows about those plates. Let's talk compensation. I was like you once. All about the gold and the dark place. I hope you find your higher purpose. Nothing in this town is free, especially not me. Have it your way. If you help me, you can choose your reward. Where did the golden balls come from? An illegal excavation at an old temple, outside the town. Since we heard about that, talk says someone's been trying to sell three golden balls on the black market. Idiots. To resist the order is crazy. We're driven by a greater force, a higher purpose. 
Don't worry, I'll get your plates back. All five of them. Watch yourself. That godforsaken lot won't just give them to you. All right. I'll find the three golden bowls for you. You've got a pair on you. I'll give you that. But with the corrupt rabble we've got around here, it won't be easy. There'll be more than just you who's after them. So watch your back. Hey. Hey yourself. If you like what you see, you're going to have to pay Madame Sonia first. Until then, seeing is all you get. Fair enough. Who is Madame Sonia? I didn't think I'd meet someone around here who didn't know Madame Sonia. She's my boss. Owns the brothel on the Western Harbour Quay. I see. Yes? What do you want? Do these ships really need guarding? Ships? No. Cargo, yes. And while these ships are stuck here, it's the Inquisition's duty to protect them. So here I am. You're a warrior of the Order. Your keen intellect tell you that. Your armor did. Yes. I am a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. That's a big title for a guard. Have you caught people trying to steal from the ships? There are those stupid enough to try, but nothing escapes my eagle eyes. Nothing. Of course not. Don't mock. You don't want to end up like our prisoner in the Harbour Key Jail, do you? How did you become a warrior of the Order? The Inquisitor himself chose me. He took me to the monastery for training. So you were forced into service? No. The service found me and I found the service. I wish more people would sign up. Do their duty. Every man must find their calling. What's the Inquisitor like? You haven't met him. He's a hard man with firm principles. Once he has his eyes on a goal, no one can stop him. You can't help but admire a man like that. I suppose not. If you stay within the law, you have nothing to fear from him. What if I don't agree with the law? Then you better hope you don't meet him. What did the prisoner in the jail do? Captain Romanov is a pirate. Was a pirate. Now he's just another prisoner. We caught him smuggling goods from the mainland for the Don. Of course, Romanov's not the sort to pay for goods. He plundered, burned and killed his way across the coast. Until the Inquisitor caught up with him. You see? Law and order. Safety. The Don is gone. And soon we'll find the gold Romanov was paid by him. Until he tells us where that is hidden, he'll rot in his cell. Has Romanov told you anything, so far? Not much. He's tight-lipped for a braggart. But a few more weeks, rotting in jail, and he'll speak. You hope. Maybe I can get Romanov to talk. Ha! Why would he tell you where he's hidden it? We'll find it. The gold can't be far, and there are only so many places to hide it. I'll find Romanov's gold. How? We've been trying for days without success. But if you did manage to find it, you would, of course, be rewarded. I'd need to be. Hey, you knew. How are things going here? Mm, not good. Not good. These storms ain't budging. So you're a sailor? Fisherman. Now there ain't no fish out there that make me want to brave these storms. So right now, I'm lugging crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's a great deal safer. If you're a fisherman, maybe you'd be interested in buying a fishmonger's. No, I ain't no storekeeper. I need to be out in the waves. Well, when they ain't 50 foot tall, that is. Try Patty's Tavern. What's in all these crates? Whatever it is, it's damn heavy. So you don't actually know what's in them? Trade goods, I'll wager. Spices, hides, stuff like that. Who do they belong to? The Order. Warehouse is theirs now. What are they doing in there? Storing stuff from the ruins, probably. What do you know about the artifacts in the warehouse? Well, I saw them dragging in a big sarcophagus. Late at night, it was. 
Can you tell me more about the sarcophagus? It was huge. Great stone thing. Glad I wasn't the one dragging it. Where's this sarcophagus now? In the front warehouse. The one closest to Patty's Tavern, on the upper floor. You'll have to use the door at the back to get in. Though you don't look like the type who'd let a simple door stand in your way. hanging around here. Nothing here of interest for passers-by. All right, I'm not going to cause any trouble. Good. Go on, then. And stay out of trouble. There's lots of it about. What is it you're guarding? We've got a VIP in there. Captain Romanov is in that cell. You must have heard of him. Scourge of the high seas. So? Where have you been? He terrorized most of the islands round here. Why didn't the Order take Roman off to the monastery like all the others? I haven't the foggiest. The white robes don't tell people. But I like it that way. The less I know, the more I can keep my head down. Did Romanoff work alone? What happened to his crew? With the storms out to sea, they'll be laying low in the town, hiding from the Inquisition. Can I talk to Romanov? You can, but he won't hear, because he's in the cell and you're staying out here. And the key to his cell is staying in my pocket. Got that? So, what do you want to let me in? All the other town guards are having a great time in the tavern or at Sonya's. The island's falling apart while they party, but I'm not allowed to leave my post. I've been here for days. Wet, cold, knackered. Romanov may be important, but he's not going anywhere. The only person to give me the time of day is you. And you're not exactly a sight for sore eyes. But well, I mean, if one of Sonya's girls came up here, then, hey, the two of us could make a bit of a party. Tell you what, I'll send one of Sonya's girls over. In return, you let me talk to Romanov. Hmm. Well, yep, it's a deal. <laughs> Be quick, though. Oh, and don't bring a girl with a face like a smashed crab, or the deal's off. 